Hello, I'm John Gasuski, Director of Engineering for the Long Island City Facility. So today I'm going to give you a little bit of tour about what we do here in engineering, both in terms of product design, in terms of support design, as well as what we do in testing and our calibration service. So we'll head now into the lab and we'll start to show you some of those activities. Okay, as we, uh, as we go through the engineering lab, you'll see that we have two main types of testing going on. It's general performance testing or there's environmental and durability testing. So in order to understand how the product works on the vehicle, you have to set up the complete network of all the devices that are communicating and then you get the module to start to function. You can then start to capture the communication that's going on on that network. So the steering angle sensor is another device that, that communicates on this CAN protocol. So we have one mounted in the steering column and then you can see that as I change the angle of the steering wheel, that the communication protocol will change as well. Over here is where we test a variety of different types of mechanical switches. So we actuate them for 30, 60,000 cycles or whatever the requirement is. And then we also have an electrical load on the parts to stress them. And this electrical load may be headlights or brake lights that will simulate what the product sees in the vehicle. What we do with this test bench is uh, we can test ignition coils and look at the basic performance of the coil and the output out of the coil. In here, if you can see, is there's a, an ignition coil life tester. So here we're subjecting the, the coil to high temperature and high voltage. We're doing a dither test, and we're just trying to see how long that circuit board will last if we then have any kind of electrical performance problems when we put it on the final production tester. This is a big flow bench, basically, to uh, characterize the electronic throttle bodies that we want to design and manufacture. So the blower assembly creates the airflow through the electronic throttle body. The control system simulates an ECU that's on the vehicle. This is where we will vibrate the uh, electronic throttle body over different displacement and over different frequencies. At the same time, we're actuating the throttle body. So we will run this vibration test in three different axes. Here's where we would, uh, where we life test the electronic throttle bodies to simulate a 10-year life cycle. Right over here is we're doing a life cycle test on what's called the clock spring. We want to make sure that you get no breakages in the contacts, and, and so we'll run this for thousands of hours to make sure the integrity in the product is there. This is a, a, a test system for VVT, solenoid, as well as the phaser. This tester is used for crank and cam sensors. Again, what we do is we run the sensors anywhere again from the minus 40 to 130 Celsius in the environment they will see under the hood. So what we do here is make sure that our design and develop power window switches react appropriately when the window comes in contact with some obstruction. Here we're, we're testing a blower motor resistor. Often, not only does the blow motor resistor fail, but the connector breaks down as well. When we're designing our own products, we utilize uh, software use SolidWorks. So as you can see, we have a 3D rendition of the part and you can see the internal components and basically do an analysis to make sure that we're gonna end up with a part that's equivalent to the OE part. This is a unique design that we have on our EGR coolers. The key feature are the spirals that are in the tube. The spirals create turbulence as the exhaust gas flows through the tube and the coolant flows around the tube. We also design and develop um, the pedal position sensor assemblies. They are very similar to the electronic throttle bodies in that they either have printed resistive circuits in them or the newer ones also use the uh, electronics Hall Effect chip. This area is where we start to finish the fabrication of the assembly line and where we start to do our first trials and debugging of the process and the components. So this is, uh, again, really just all of the calibration activity that goes on for the throttle body. And then over here is how the product will be tested um, in production at the end of the line. So this is a uh, crank and cam position tester that we would use in production. Here is the sensor. As we actuate the device, the slide will move forward. The target wheel should start to spin. 
We have two options. We can use a Hall Effect chip that we can purchase from an electronics company, or we may buy a blank chip and then we custom program it like we program the ECBs. This device over here is called a CMM, a coordinate measuring machine. So we use it to get dimensions off of the original OE part, or we also inspect the components that we've tooled. We, we make a lot of our own uh, tools and fixtures in-house. So what you're looking at here, basically, is a simulation of how the part is going to be machined. So as you can see now, is the, basically the computer program is driving the machine through the uh, design cycle. The, this is ultimately what we'll end up with. The, uh, this will be the, the fixture uh, that will be used on a production tester for an electronic throttle body. Well, that concludes the uh, tour of LIC Engineering. I hope you enjoyed uh, your visit here.